to stand up and run for mayor because, um, and I think in a lot of your your talks, um, that's what they that's one thing that at least politicians understood about you was that you had that perspective that you knew more needed to be done, and politicians fear that they fear the 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 people. You you still the people. So it's, it's, it's people, and then the politics we address, like he say, through our our actions in, in various ways. We address politics, and in, 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 my, in my little thinking, I, I don't really think politicians have ever changed a thing. It's always been incidents that brought mm-hmm. about the change. It was an action mm-hmm. that the people did that brought about the policy change. But the politicians yep. themselves didn't bring no policy change. It took action from the people. So yep. nobody yep. that I've seen voted in really changed the policy that really impacted the lives of, a, like you said earlier, a disenfranchised community. It took action from within that community to initiate the policy change. But the politicians themselves didn't initiate no change. And just to it took clear, action from the people. Yeah, and just to make it clear, I did not criticize them. I know some people since I'm 56 might consider me part of that old school guard as well, but I did not actually <laughs> make any comment about him the school. I didn't like. I just left it alone. I didn't like criticize him. I didn't like say that he was wrong or anything of that nature. Because actually, he always beats me. Both of you will get a kick out of this. And this will be our comical moment. Because, you know, at 56, whenever I go into this store, and I should know the gentleman's name. I'm sure he told it to me. But as soon as I come in there. He greets me sometimes with a free drink, sometimes with a free donut. But he's like, "Yo, OG, what's up?" And I sit there going, "Like, I ain't never hung around the hood. I don't know that I qualify as an OG. But as far as he's concerned, I'm an OG." <laughs> hey, what do I call you? I call you Mr. Mark Lee. That is true. That's what you call me. <laughs> I, I say, "What's up, Mr. Mark Lee?" Hey, you, you OG. It's, it's different ways to get the OG status. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I would, I would, uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna just echo that. OG, you know, especially, especially in the context of, of the way hip hop has transformed the English language, that's just a, that's just a way of saying elder, which is, I know some people don't like elder, but in the African tradition, to be, to be crowned as an elder is a, is a, is a term of endearment. You know, they're saying I honor you and respect you as somebody who's been around longer than I have. So that's all That's all I would take that to be. And that's the way I do take it, Pierce. I take that as him giving me some respect. He sees me in there, sometimes even lining up guests. Like I was lining up, lining up you and other people on the uh, laptop or on the, um, my tablet or whatever method I'm using to reach out to folks if I'm not seeing you directly. So that is definitely the way I took it as, as somebody that was – um, respecting some of the work that I was doing in the community and was honoring me in that way. But with knowing some of the other people that use it in that other context, it, it did catch me off guard for a while. But at 50-something, <laughs> I do understand that I am definitely an elder. I believe what what is the – I'm not sure if it's this year. What with, At Kwanzaa, is it 55 or is it – I didn't make it to this year's Kwanzaa. Is it 55 or is it – 56 is you have to stand up and be part of the elder crowd. I always forget, but I know that Chuck, when he was living, had a certain age range that he would welcome people to be the um, to the elder circle. And I think that I might have mm-hmm. it if I had been to Kwanzaa last year, because I want to say it's 55. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I don't really, but I think that that is, and speaking of that, um, just real quick, because I know we've only got a few more minutes, but just uh, who are some of the people, Pierce, that inspired you? I know I heard from Tim, some of the people that inspired him, and I know one of them is definitely Bob and Chuck Davis, but who are some of the other people that inspired you in terms of developing your creativity? Hmm. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I'll say his name again. Uh, Chuck Davis was my hero. and uh, Whoa, somebody's playing that was Mario. That was, that, was a, that was a good minute, Warner. We took out 10 minutes, so go ahead. Um, Yeah, I think uh, I have so many inspirations Um, I grew up listening and loving Mm -hmm. hip-hop And so there are artists uh, like LL Cool J and Lauryn Hill and Nas That have inspired my lyricism There's poets like Dasan Ahanu, you know, and Fonte, you know, MCs, producers 
Um, the Butter Team, there's another Durham icon, a collective of incredible DJs who for me have always been um rooted in the in the in the traditions of hip hop, like real you know, DJing all wax, you know, they can scratch, they could juggle, they could do all the elements. Um, you know, there's been and then people that I've never even been able to meet, you know, I'll keep it Durham, like uh Polly Murray, you know, one of the uh one of the architects of, of Brown versus Board of Education. She was a writer, she was a scholar, she was a you know, um an Episcopal priest, you know, at a time when women weren't occupying those positions, just doing the most uh, found her so inspirational, um, you know, people like er- Ernie Barnes, a North Carolina Central grad, professional football player turned painter, you know. You ever watch Good Times? That's Ernie Barnes. That's Marvin Gaye album cover, Ernie Barnes. Like, I love that he, um, <clears throat> you know, that he occupied the this kind of space as, a, as the traditional black archetype of black masculinity, you know, like professional football player and all that, but he left all that and and was painting and was really following his passion unapologetically and created a lane for himself um, in that medium as well. So, um, you know, you don't need to look much farther than this community to find people who are uh, creative and entrepreneurial inspirations. Oh, yes, we definitely have quite a few of those, and they've done some great works and things of that nature. And you'll be glad to know that Dean, my uh, right-hand man on this show and everything, is a member of the street team for uh, Nights and that whole uh, kind of thing that he has put together. So he's representing and making sure that people understand. I would say probably, what, from New Jersey on up to uh, Virginia, you're letting folks know about the work that they're doing, Dean? You know what? That's worldwide, brother, so... You know, a part of the Internet Special Ops team, better known as the Jamla Army, we put the word out. We keep pushing it. We keep trying to tell people to get familiar because Jamla's the squad. In fact, Jamla's the squad volume two will be out in a little bit. So keep your eyes open for that. Thanks. I will. You got to do a lot of work, making sure that folks understand. I think you can even encourage your folks to learn about your artwork and uh, the your work as well. Here, so you know, you're not part of Jamal. You still let folks know about what you're doing as well as like, you are. So definitely want folks to be encouraged by all the great things that you're doing, whether it's black or um, Are you still doing the performance? Because I feel like my buddy gave me that kind of like, I don't know, it's getting cold, so they may have stopped. Is the new still performing up at the Sun Hotel, or do y'all have a few more weeks? Yeah, uh, we're doing this uh, Florence Benefit concert on Wednesday. Um, and then um, actually Black Space, our kids from Black Space are performing at Duke on Friday um, as part of their, uh, like, Afrofuturist, um, like, lecture series. There's going to be a performance and film screenings. But that'll be at Duke Coffee House on Friday. And then uh, this Wednesday will be The Beast, my band, will be at the Pin Hub. Okay. And that, you said that, right. that performance will be at the Pinhook? Uh, the Beast will be at the Pinhook on Wednesday, and the Afronauts, which are all the kids from Black Space, um, local high school students, they produced and recorded their own album um, called Revenge of the Afronauts, and they'll be performing at Duke Coffee House on, on Friday. Okay. And what about the um, Grand Hotel series? Is that still going on, or is that pretty much top because of the cool weather? <laughs> Yeah, we we do that over the summer. Usually over the summer, um, one Sunday per month. This this summer it was second Sundays. Um, we'll, we'll be on the roof of the Durham Hotel. But yeah, it's too cold, <laughs> too cold for that now. So we'll be back probably doing that and back again in April. Okay, cool. I'll let folks know because I did have a couple of folks that asked me that. Now Tim was kind enough to bless us with a couple of his points and that I remember and everything. But I was wondering if there's any particular Quick one, because I can't, don't have that much time, that you want to bless us with, uh, Pierce, and then uh, real quickly I'll let folks give some round table thoughts to end everything too. But I can't have Pierce on without having you bless us with at least something. Ooh, uh, you want some bars? What, what you want? Some bars. I want some bars. Okay. Yeah, give, 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 give us um, some heat. Okay. All right, bet. Well, um, <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. I wasn't expecting this bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. So there's a song on, on my last album from the Beast called Woke, 
Um, it's a song called Captain America. It's uh, uh it's about um, you know, it's about. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a big I'm a big comic book head, and um, the character Captain America plays an interesting role with the Avengers, which is popular um, if you're into movies. But um, I'm just gonna kick the third verse from from that song. The whole song is about the character Captain America, but uh, this is the third verse. <clears throat> There's more to this heritage of this black power America fears and cherishes. After emancipation, they expanded experiments, replicated the plantation under new management. They locked us in a cell. The propaganda was scandalous. Overseers, the officers, they branded us terrorists. The private prison industry, they lobbied the candidates, gave mandatory sentences for handling cannabis. Captain America, look what we saved Americans. Billions in cheap labor, it's the slaves' inheritance. This is what it is to be black in America. It feels like any minute I'll be capped in America. Oh, Captain wow. America. Oh, oh, Captain, Captain America. America. Yeah. When are these performing great. again? You... Uh, we'll we'll be at the Pinhook on Wednesday. Uh, uh, yeah, tomorrow they will be at the Pinhook. Just really quickly, as we're winding down. I think we've got two minutes to go. I'll start with Jeff. Any last thoughts or any words of wisdom that you want people to have got about 15, 20 seconds each? So if you just got any last words of wisdom that you want folks to know, uh, so we'll start with Jeff. Oh, definitely, man. I think, you know, if there are any just young listeners or just anybody out there, man, just take the opportunity to really just invest in yourself. Invest in yourself, explore your passion, and realize and recognize that you can take your passion, package it, turn it into a product that will yield you a profit. Tim, I know it's not good for you to do things in a short amount, but if we can get a quick word of wisdom in 10 or 15 <laughs> seconds, then I'll kick it to <laughs> Hey man, everything I know, trust and believe in, and and it's all in my books that you can find on Lulu dot com. Just look up Timothy W. Jackson. And all I'm really saying is it all starts inside of you. Go inside yourself, find that light, ignite it, and make it happen. Here's the dog. Yeah, okay. twenty seconds. Sure. Yeah, I, I just uh, I don't have any words of wisdom. I just want to say thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be back in 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 space with Tim Jackson and, and y'all brilliant brothers. So, you know, salute to everyone who's who's been a part of this conversation and thank you for including me. Yes, Glad thank you. you. And thank you, Pierce, yep. for all that too and all that you said. It was it was definitely inspirational. Yep. Well, all three of y'all were definitely inspirational. Glad that I could have all three of you powerful brothers on the show. Um, as I always say, you know, definitely have to go out there, study what's going on, study our history. Study the world around us and be encouraged by the powerful brothers and sisters that are doing some powerful work out there, but also be encouraged by those that have come in our history. Me, close us on out. All right, Please. now, Tim, Jeff, yes, sir. Here, we appreciate you yep. rolling with us tonight. We thank y'all for blessing us. And um, thank you for I the opportunity. Say, no doubt. As I always say, when you walk out your front door, it's showtime in the world at the stage. Just make sure that people are not watching the rehearsal. With that being said, yes, for sir. Me, please, I'm the six man <laughs> Dean Geronimo. We're going to see y'all next week. Same time, same place, here on Blog Talk Radio. We appreciate you. Good evening, and God bless. Peace. 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 Later. Thank you for listening to Straight Talk with Dean and Mark. We're on every Monday night at 7 p.m. except holidays, where you can catch replays of past shows. Show replays on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker, and of course, Blog Talk Radio. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Squared807. We appreciate you and we'll see you next week.